Welcome back to the Cardinal Happy Hour at Conrad's Eat, Drink, locally here at Conrad's Restaurant and Ale House. Women's basketball team here from William Jewell joining me. Kelly Bashan, Aiden Shannon, Chloe Frank next to me. Let's rewind it a few weeks. A big win against Upper Iowa, a 90-60 to 60 victory a few Thursdays ago. Yeah, I mean, I would just say the first thing that comes to my mind is how we celebrated one another in that game, how we came together and, and just played as a unit, you know. That was my favorite memory, and I'm um, really proud of these girls for playing the full 40 minutes of that game. Yeah, I mean, we shot the ball well, which helps, but, I mean, we were moving the ball well, getting the ball to everyone. Everyone was contributing, which helps. Yeah, and besides, like, the scoring 90 points, we held them to 60, so that shows, like, we're grinding on both ends of the court, so defense is really important to us, and that shows how hard we play every single game. And in that game, Chloe, you had a tied a career high, 17 points, and you've really been on a tear here throughout the last few games, nearly 10 points a game over the last five games. What's been working for you? Yeah, so my teammates and my coaches obviously have the most confidence in me, and that's really helped me find where my shots are coming from and if I'm not hitting they're still going to feed me the ball and that keeps my head high so I really love that for them. And coach you've probably seen the confidence throughout the season from you know not only Chloe but the rest of your team putting shots up. Yeah I think you know just our mindset of taking the pressure off of putting shots up and putting them in right and and focusing on something bigger and and that's the defensive end and we just have talked a lot about the more stops that we can get the more efficient our offense is going to be and um, that's got to be our way because not every single night are those shots going to fall and, and then who are we going to be on those nights. Aiden, you've been going off as well. You know, it's not, it hasn't just been Chloe. You've been doing it as well since conference started, over 16 and a half points a game. Has there been anything coming in now in your second year that you've really tried to work on? Um, I mean, I just got to build my confidence a bit more. I mean, I'm a year in, so definitely that factor. But, I mean, I genuinely believe this year that, like, my coaches want what's best for us, and I think that, They've built my confidence up a lot, and I genuinely believe that my teammates believe in me, and they, so that's good to help. I mean, it's going to help you help shots go in whenever you believe that your teammates believe it's going to go in as well. Well, and that kind of leads me now to ask, like, what <laughs> has been the biggest growth or the biggest developments that you guys have seen here now, both in your second year? Um, you know, staying with the mindset that we got to keep growing. Like, we're never going to settle we're rebuilding, so we got to keep grinding every single day. And we believe in each other, and we believe in our coaches, and they believe in us. So we're going to keep growing if we have that mindset every single day. Yeah. Um, I mean, we were pretty young last year. I mean, we still have some upperclassmen, but, I mean, it's growing as a whole. I feel like that's really contributed to this year being um, a lot better than, like, our, how it was last year. I feel like it's really just a whole group growth instead of just, like, individuals coach yeah I think the relationships you know as the season has gone on the relationships have grown stronger um, and that's one thing you know you're, you're not going to have the consistency that you hope for in the first year right of a rebuild but one thing that you hope for is that the relationships get stronger they get deeper and and they mean a lot more you know as you go on and I feel like here lately we've had that I feel like we've we've been able to have the easy conversations the hard conversations you know and um, that's what that's what makes a relationship that much stronger so I feel like that's that's something that I've been trying to focus on and and do more individuals with you know with a lot of kids and and just get in the gym and and make them love it you know that's where I feel like we've grown as a program and as individuals for sure one thing that coach and I were talking about earlier today that I think is worth noting is you guys have the fewest turnovers per game in all of women's basketball at the D2 level. What does that mean to each of you? It's a great stat to have. I mean, we take care of the ball, which is great, but also like we're confident in each other. And like, I trust Aiden to, you know, handle the ball and it shows like that's the work we put in in the off season is to be better at that and that's a controllable and we're showing that so that's a great like reward yeah I was gonna go off of that um I think it's really just the confidence we have in one another I mean yes the posts rely on us but like we also have to rely on the post to take care of the ball as well like when we feed them because I mean there's a lot of teams in the conference that press and really just believing in one another is really what because you got to trust everyone with the ball right when you talk about the press, you saw that against Rockers, and then you guys have been able to handle that very well recently. 
Is that something that you guys have been working on at practice? Yeah, we do work on it, but also like just playing together helps with breaking a press. Like no one can do it by themselves. So that was just something like a game like that. We kind of just needed to be reminded like we're a team, like let's move the ball, break this press easily. And we've handled it well since then. Yeah, I mean, the biggest piece, piece is having uh, a, a crucial person take the ball out, right? Whoever is taking the ball out to make sure it gets inbounded. And, and Chloe's been a big piece of that, right, is she's she's taken on that role, you know, where we could just hide her as the five and put her all the way down the court. But she's taken on the role where she says, I'm going to I'm gonna get the ball in, and then I'm going to cut hard to the middle, and she's 6'3 in the middle, and it's hard to guard. I mean, you know, 6'1, sorry. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's hard to guard. And um, she's she's a five-man making decisions like a guard. And, and that speaks a lot of her game and who she is and how we've been handling presses lately right and our yeah. guards have you know found confidence within themselves to say no you can't press me right right and that's that's the confidence that we hope to continue to grow and instead of running away from the ball we're running to it for sure well before we let you go our cardinal fan submitted social media question all three of you grew up in smaller towns respectively <laughs> was the goal always to go back to the small town or go to the big city and Aiden, I know your parents are here, so I'm kind of putting <laughs> you on the spot. Um, I'll go first. I did want to go to a city when I came to college, so that's kind of why I chose Jewel in Kansas City area. So I don't think I'll be returning, but you never know. <laughs> um, I'd probably say I'd like to go back to a smaller town. I'm not saying as small as Wellington because there's literally nothing. But um, – <laughs> I kind of – I mean, I like Jewel because, like, the classes and everything so small. It's like – Wellington but then there's also like literally everything in Liberty so you get that big town and like city feel mm -hmm. coach I've been everywhere a small town yeah. big city mountains um <laughs> this is where I want to be now so close to family for sure yeah. awesome well thank you so much thank best of luck for the rest of the season and remember to come to Conrad's restaurant and ale house and eat drink local